Hey, hey, I am back from Peru and I thought it was time to make a quick video to bring you guys up to speed about everything that happened on my trip and to thank you for praying for me, for supporting me, for helping me get there. God did incredible things, not just in Peru, but in my own life. And those are the things that I wanna to talk to you about. Usually whenever I go on these trips, I think that there is so many unknowns. There's so many things that I don't know about the place or about the people or about any of that stuff. And so I prepare as good as I can and I do my best whenever I get there. And usually it's an exhausting kind of a trip. And this one was no different. But I did wanna give you an update because most of the time uh, I go and then I give you like a really quick update about what happened and so today i wanted to make a video and i know a lot of you uh, are not going to watch this if you watch it watch it in three times speed that is perfect um, but i wanted to talk about three things i wanted to talk about the people that i met i wanted to talk about the place that i went and then i wanted to talk about the power of god and the things that he did through his word the first thing is the people whenever i go anywhere the people are the thing that makes something special. The other day, somebody asked me, where's the best place you've ever been? And it's so hard to say that because every time I go to a new place, I make new friends and I see new people who are doing incredible things with what they have. And so I met a lot of people. There were 97 students at this youth camp that we went to. I went to this little church um, in Chasuta, Peru, and I met uh, a lot of people in this little town, a lot of people who work with this church, a lot of people who work with other churches, and I got the opportunity to, to speak with a lot of students and have interactions with a lot of people. And so the number one thing that I always take away from a trip like this are the people and the relationships. The pastor at this church, his name is Jairo, and he has an incredible ministry. I mean, this church has a water purification place that they purify water and they deliver it to 1,000 families every week. Talk about an incredible ministry in a small town like Chasuta. Incredible. I got a chance to look at the purification center. I got a chance to watch the guys as they were delivering the water. It was so good. And then they also have a radio station that they broadcast a, uh, a program 24 hours a day to all over the uh, North Peru and all over the world, actually. Their shortwave goes all over the world. But they also have different programs that they broadcast in 12 different languages. Whenever I talk about Jairo and his uh, vision, I talk about, I think about the way that he talks about the different indigenous languages. This guy will take a boat for days up river and deliver uh, the gospel, but he also, this radio station has these um, receivers where they will receive, they will hand them to the people and th they can receive the signal from the radio station that is housed on the church campus. They can receive that and it's solar powered and they can hear the gospel in their language. Twelve different languages are hearing the gospel because of this radio ministry that they have on their campus. And then they have a chocolate factory, which was incredible too, another way for them to help people, give them jobs, sell the chocolate, all of that stuff, because Chasuta is well known for their cocoa beans and the plant that they have. And so uh, they are now getting into that company, that business as well, to kind of support ministry and to be able to have camps like the camp that they had while I was there. Such an incredible ministry. I had a great time. It was perfect. The people are there. There was a bunch of people on the team who gave incredible, you know, they gave of their time. I met a guy, his name is Victor and his wife, uh, I think her name was um, John C, but they, they were incredible people who um, just love God and love serving him became some of my great friends while I was there on the trip and then all the other people that were part of the pastoral staff at this church and also part of the team that was putting together the camp. What a great time 
to get to know these people. The second thing that really impacts me is usually the place. And Chasuta is a really small town uh, with like, you know, not very many paved roads. A lot of the roads are dirt and, uh, you know, rocky and it rained a lot. So there was a lot of mud. There was a lot of, uh, you know, just uh, dirty, muddy kind of opportunities for me to slip and fall, which I do uh, really well. And then it's right next to a river, and this river was overflowing. So the people who were down river, who were right next to the river, were afraid during the weekend that they were going to get flooded in their house. And so the river was coming over the street because of the rain. Um, and so it's, but the place is just magical. I cannot wait to go back um, and visit the same place. I, there's just something about small towns. Uh, outside of the big cities that kind of just grab your heart, let you see how other people live, and you can kind of just watch and learn and observe and be out of your element for a while, which I think uh, leads into the third thing, which is the power of God. Uh, something about getting away from my routine really usually impacts me a lot. There's, uh, there's so many stories that I can tell you about how I personally felt God moving during the time that I was there. The whole idea of the camp was to talk about uh, who am I? And so we were talking about identity. And I talked about that we are creations of God. We are God's children whenever we place our trust in Jesus Christ. We uh, talked about the fact that we are uh, followers of Christ as Christians. And then we talked about the fact that we are ambassadors for Christ as well. We talked about being part of the family of God. We talked about being on mission for God. There were a lot of things that we talked about. But as I was talking about all of this with these students, uh, there were a number of students who, you know, were talking with their counselors and having the important conversations about who they are and who God is. And so those are the things that you see the power of God whenever uh, interested adults take their time to invest in the lives of younger people, which is what I love about youth ministry, about one generation investing in the next generation. And then just in my own life, I feel God stirring in my own life even more desire to be on mission with him. And so I just wanted to thank you for allowing me to experience those three things, the people, the place, and the power of God through your prayers, through your uh, support, this was able to happen. And so I'm hoping that this video gives you a little bit of a taste of what happened in Peru. And again, thank you so much for watching and thank you for being a part of the trip through your prayers and your support. I'll talk to you in the next one. Just had a lunch at the church. Now I'm in my hotel. Thought I'd give you a quick hotel tour. There you have it. It's my room. Got two beds, even though there's only one of me, but. And then coming into the bathroom, I turned on the light. She told me where the light was. Beautiful walk-in bathroom, walk-in shower.